Greetings, my name is Claudia Sotillo. I am an ICU fellow at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. And I wanted to show everybody uh, a way that I've created personal protective equipment for myself in order to uh, protect myself in the COVID units. And also if I'm called to provide anesthesia for any patients who are COVID positive. So uh, I've been looking a lot at the ideas circulating around and I've adapted this in order to best suit my needs. Most of those needs are usually I uh, am called to place uh, central lines and arterial lines in patients who are COVID positive. And sometimes I'm also, uh, when, when they first arrive, I, I talk to them and I'm very close to them because uh, they need physical exams and and I need to gather some general uh, medical history as well. So I wanted to make sure I developed something that maintained my full free range of motion from side to side and up and down, um, especially because before I was wearing an N95 mask and a face shield on top. Uh, the problem with that is that the face shield sometimes can be very cumbersome and then when, uh, especially when you're putting a central line, if you're looking down, sometimes it can bonk up off your chest and uh, can uh, potentially lead to issues uh, because it starts to ride up on your forehead and is a potential vulnerability in your protection. So I wanted something that would be both an N95 mask and a face shield all in one. Now I've seen a lot of other protective equipment that have been developed during this time of shortage, uh, one of which was developed at the University of Florida, go Gators, and uh, by Dr. Bruce Spees and colleagues, which uh, involves using uh, the surgical coverings uh, that we normally use to uh, protect and uh, keep our sterile surgical equipment clean uh, as a good filter that may uh, surpass an N95. The problem with that is that, unfortunately, that means my protection comes down to my sewing skills, which would condemn me to death if that was the case. So I wanted to present something that you could construct at home for under $50 and involves, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, five key ingredients five items that you need to create this protective equipment. So the first thing you need is a full face snorkel mask. I chose one that had an easy um, button here so that you can take it off like that. So it has an easy release on each side. There you go. Uh, and I chose uh, this one also because it's not open to the environment at the bottom and uh, allows inhalation and exhalation to occur from one common point, which is this snorkel. Um, and uh, also does not allow your line of vision to fog up. The also nice thing about this snorkel mask is it has this silicone covering to create a wonderful seal around the face. And it has this nice stretchy elastic on the back. And finally, this, fil this uh, snorkel is removable. So that's another reason why I chose this. So as you can see, I'm gonna remove the filter now. Sorry, the snorkel, not the filter, the snorkel. So we're removing the snorkel and casting it aside. So you should be left with the snorkel mask without the snorkel and kind of this security device here. Next, what you'll need is an elbow connector and two filters. I chose uh, to these two filters. This is the heat moisture exchange uh, filter that uh, is common in the anesthesia department. Uh, it's made by Carefusion and it's the 1000 slash S. And then I put it in series with uh, this, uh, another heat moisture exchange filter and this is also a HEPA filter with a viral filtration efficiency of 99.9%. So I place these in series as such, and then attach them to my elbow connector. 
So this should be the final arrangement, all in series, which is the same arrangement that you would have in the operating room if you were to be uh, providing anesthesia to a COVID positive patient. You would have these two in series. And finally, I wanted to create an adapter in order to place it, see how there's um, basically your inhalation and your exhalation uh, kind of divisions here on this snorkel mask. And I wanted to place my filters right in the middle of those so that I could inhale and exhale, um, but also do it from a, this common channel and through these filters. So I created this adapter and this is a, an adapter that's made out of high temperature silicone tubing. And um, I'll show you how you can use this to secure your filters in place. So again, you're gonna need the snorkel mask with the snorkel removed. You're gonna need your uh, heat moisture exchange filter 1000 slash S in series with your HEPA um, heat moisture exchange filter, the elbow connector, and then the silicone tubing that you're gonna cut um, in about 1.8 inches. So I just measured it with just a simple measuring tape and I cut it at 1.8 and made a mark and just cut it with regular scissors. And so now I'll show you how to attach everything. So you're gonna take your a small piece of silicone, high, high temperature silicone tubing, and you're gonna place it around the snorkel piece as such. So it takes a little bit of tugging, but you can get it all the way on. Let's see here. And what I like about this is this creates a very nice tight seal. So that way you're not letting air or any virus particles enter. So there you go. And then at this point, what I do is I take this extra piece that was previously used to secure the snorkel and I place it around on top as a second safety. And finally, what I do is I place my filters in series. And now I didn't want them to go uh, immediately kind of behind in this direction because depending on how big the crown of your head is, uh, it can be cumbersome and get in the way and potentially be knocked off when you're putting, putting on your mask. So I kind of uh, arrange it to the side like this. So that way it's, uh, it's kind of off to the side not in the way and um, also not potentially sticking up like this uh, in a way that could also be knocked off. So we'll attach our filters now using uh, attaching it to the other side of our high temperature silicone tubing. I think, let me see, I think we can get it a little bit tighter. Let me pull up our tubing a little bit more. All right, that looks wonderful. So it should look something like this. And the final step is to put it on. Now these snorkel masks, uh, this is made by a company uh, available on Amazon for about $42. And the company is, uh, made, is called Great Ever. And they come in all these fun colors. I chose pink. Um, and so you can choose whichever color that expresses yourself. Uh, then again, if you're using this for COVID positive patients, I would suggest maybe a cheerful color uh, because black or dark red uh, could scare them 
many of these patients are very, very scared and lonely. And so uh, I think coming in with a mask that's all black or uh, dark red looks a little bit angel of death like. So I chose a nice cheerful pink color, but again, everybody's open to however they want to express themselves. This is your PPE. And finally, um, before uh, you order this, you want to make sure to measure your face. Um, you measure from the bridge of your nose to the bottom of your chin. And if you're uh, 4.7 inches or less, you're a size small. And if you're 4.7 inches or more, you are a large. So make sure you order the right size. So I'll place mine on. And there we go. This silicone creates a nice seal. And then I can obstruct the filter and test to see if I, how good of a seal I have. I don't detect any leaks. I'm able to obstruct and make it tight or not, and blow out. And I have that full range of motion that we were talking about before. So that is my five-step PPE creation. What I like about this is you can still see the, your mouth. So the patients can still see a little bit of your mouth. You can still express yourself. And patients can see if you're laughing or um, they can see your eyes at the very least. And also it's a built-in face shield. So again, I can put in central lines. I don't know what that was. That was not how you close a central line. But uh, you know, I can do whatever I need to do. And um, it's all in one. And if I need to take it off for any reason, I can press this button and take it off in a snap. So I hope you found this helpful and uh, you can create your own PPE for under 50 bucks. Take care.